everyone. Here is a shot of um, last week's layout. And then I'm just going to switch over to a blank page. And I'm going to, at this point, welcome everyone for joining me. Um, welcome to all my old subscribers and new subscribers and maybe just someone who's stopping by. So this is what my sheets look like ahead of time. And this week's layout is right here. And what I did was I covered the um, numbers that were over here. Because if you recall, those numbers are actually the time of day. And it starts at 8. But, and then the 1 through 5 is over here. So I leave the 1 through 5s typically for writing to-dos on. And then what I did um, with these... Um, things that you see here with the snowflakes. I will um, put the lady's blog down below. She did not have it like on her printable. Uh, and I think she, I don't think she has too many on there, but it was cute and I lost the one I had printed off before. So I decided to use it. And as you may know, if you watch my other video, I have to really cut a lot of things even more now with this layout because it's not an Erin Condren, it's not a happy planner, so I need to find someone maybe who sells stuff for, for this size. But I have to write in all the numbers and then I just covered it with the little flags with the snowflakes so I can write stuff in. These little um, things I have here for writing down dinners actually looked like this. They were um, a sheet of paper and you can see the pink is really light. And you'll see that over here. So I didn't use a whole lot of the pink. But what I ended up doing, because some of them, like the dark pink up here and like the purple, were so dark for writing on that I just decided to cut off the little spoon, fork, and knife thing and just leave it there for putting it in. And I just kind of used, you know, all the colors with different washi. Um... This washi here is from the Dollar Tree, and the one up at top is one that I just got in my um, gift box from Recollections. One thing I will tell you is you need to tear this off really slow because it ripped on me a couple of times and I had to redo it. So just go real slow and gentle with it. And then I just kind of accented next to them with some thin washi. You'll see that right there. And those are just from various places. And then I put this strip down here to kind of separate it and highlight here. Um, I haven't done my functionals yet, so I am going to do that. I did want to show you, however, um, I had a little fun with my functional stickers because I just did just have them on um, big sheets. And then this is an old photo um album type thing that I had had. So I just took all my functionals and cut them down and stuck them into here. So now it's a little bit more manageable. They're in smaller, a little bit easier to get to when I cut. I made sure to write or keep in there where I got them all from so I know where to look. I have a lot of blanks in between, so a lot of filling I can do. And then towards the end, what I did was things like this, um, where I've used parts of kits, I've put the rest of the kits in here. So I can find those later too. Because I've seen so many people have their stuff in nice little booklets and stuff. And I thought that was a great idea. So rather than have some of these smaller ones flying around loose leaf. Or these ones were getting, just from cutting from here and there, they were getting real raggedy. And I don't want them to rip or lose any of them. So this was a good idea. I did print off some grocery ones too. Um, but I think my husband grabbed them with some papers that he printed off for work. So I'm going to have to... Um, he's working today actually on Sunday. So I'm going to have to give him a call and make sure he doesn't throw those out. Because I don't remember now where I got them from. And they were really cute. So I'm also looking for some functionals for exercise. I haven't found any that I like yet so I have to look for those so yeah I'm gonna put these on and then I will come right back and show you how that looks all right so the functionals are in 
I've got laundry that i got to do twice this week. Uh, Monday I've got a 5.30 staff meeting. I work till 5.30 or 4.30, so I usually just stay there. So I really don't have anything on here to do since I'll be getting home later. Dinners, don't know what we're planning yet. My husband starts, um, actually started a new job Saturday. He wasn't supposed to start till Monday, but they needed him, so he went in Saturday and today. So he's off Monday, so we'll probably figure out our menus for the week tomorrow. Three bills got to get paid this week. Um, I didn't mark it because I didn't have the stickers with me here, but um, thank goodness it is payday this week. Uh, planning over here, I weigh myself on Saturdays, garbage and recyclables down here. And then you'll notice I have some things written in, um, yoga, total body, cardio, dirty 30, cardio and upper fix. Um, at least five days a week I'm trying to work out for 30 minutes. And I'm doing um, the Beach Body 21 Day Fix, so I'm just kind of mixing up the workouts. And um, I'm also doing the eating and drinking the Shakeology, too. They got a little, uh, I'm trying to think of what they call it. It's kind of like a challenge going on. You can win money if you, if you log um, your five workouts a week and drinking your, actually you have to log three a week, and then you have to blog that you drank your Shakeology five days a week with a picture and you can win some money at the end. So it's a month long thing. Um, I'm using this little paper clip here that I made. This is from um, stickers from I think the Dollar Spot. And I just thought he kind of went with that little guy right there. He's got the same kind of hat. And on the back I just put a little blue heart. And then the pen I'm using is just a set that I had gotten from the Dollar um, tree and I'm looking for more of them because I absolutely love how these write. They write so well and it came with some really cute colors. One of the other things I started putting in here is, and I've seen some other people do this too, um, it's actually a card and I glued it to the front of an envelope and in the envelope are receipts. So um, we're trying to budget a little bit more wisely so at least for part of this year here in the beginning, I want all of our receipts to go in here. So I'm just keeping it in my planner. And then uh, when I go through them, I'll probably be using the inside of this to jot down. So I'll probably put something on the front too to say what they are. But I've been getting my receipts in there, but I just have to give get my husband to give me his receipts so we can get it all, all together. I want to see, and it's not just, I mean, you could go in here your um, bank account and see where you've spent money but I like to see what we're spending it on I think is is the big thing because I think that's where we need to um, budget more and cut back and then surprise I was so excited um, I saw everyone hauling the little minis and um, I know Liz at Thrifty 50 she's like they're on sale you gotta go get one so I'm like okay I'm on it and I did so um, I got the Hello Beautiful. Obviously, I like the word beautiful because my channel, Beautiful You. And so I saw some other people haul this one as well. So this is just going to, it's going to be my purse one. So I don't believe I will, will be decorating it um, too much. Um, it's going to be in my purse and I'll be using it for um, my parties that I do with Style Dots. So it's just a really cute little planner and I like the fact that... Um, it starts off with life is a party. I don't know if you can see that. And considering I'm using this for doing parties, I thought that was pretty appropriate. And so yeah, it's kind of, it's tiny, but it's nice. I like it. And what I think is cute is down, down here, these are different. This is word of the week. Let's see what it said last week's. There's nothing. And then this one had thankful for, and they're not always the same. I think there's always word of the week in there. For reals, you are so pretty. So those are just kind of cute little weekly highlights. Just cute little sayings in there. Word of the week. 
And then there's another one. It's hard to have a bad day when you're wearing polka dots. So again, another reference to dots because it's style dots that I'm having parties for. Word of the week. I won't go through all these. I was just going to show you. You are a gem. Shine bright. So yeah, so that was just um, one of the fun things that I got. And there's something else that I'll share too that I ended up getting that was on sale. But this is what I was using. And you can see the size difference. This one was a little longer. It's not as thick as this one. But I could certainly, if I wanted this to be thinner, you know, take some months out. But um, as I said, this is a student planner. And it only, and actually, it's, I thought it was June, but it actually goes through to July. But still, that's... I can't have that. I don't want to be looking for a planner, you know, in July. So, so yeah, I'm in the process of just transferring um, things from here over to here. And size-wise, um, it's comparable. Um, but this one's just so much more gosh darn cute. So, and then I figure if I get tired of trying to work with this one, that I could just use this one in the interim until I get another big one. So, but... It wasn't so bad on here. I'm I'm kind of second week into the new one and I'm getting used to it. So, so we'll see how it goes. It's just a planner. It's not life or death. I can deal with it. So everyone, um, until next time, have a great week and please check below. I will list all the other planner collaborators, and we did add, I believe, two more. So we're in the 40s right now, so I do encourage you, though, to um, take time and check them out. So appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And if you like videos like this, give her that thumbs up and have a great week.